and welcome. We're going to check out if the latest Arc Linux, which is the edition of June, is able to encrypt your hard disk. So sometimes people ask, hey, can we uh, put a password on your system? So basically it means you boot up in your system and it immediately asks, give me your password or there will be no Arch Linux, Arch Linux, whatever operating system that's behind it, it will not be booted. So some kind of security that um, it's not just dependent of a login screen. Who are you? What's your password? But actually from a hard disk level up that you say, no, we want to encrypt everything and it's going to be encrypted with a password. No password, no booting up, no encryption. And no decrypting, that's a better word. So I'm gonna go for all the standard settings as, as usual, you, you know the drill, um, that's fine. Lots of video about that, but I do need my, where are you again, my uh, keyboard. So AZERTY, I'm gonna um, erase the disk completely, no swap. And the thing is we have a Calamaris at this version of June, an encrypt system. So I'm gonna give it my password. And I'm gonna give it my password, the same password, obviously. Remind you that the bootloader location needs to be filled in. So you need to actually tell, all right, install the master boot record. In this case, this is VirtualBox, it's MBR, not UEFI. So you'll have this pop up. You only see this with the MBR, not EFI. So encrypt system, yes, password is set. Next we do, and what we do just the standard installation as we always do, so there's no difference. Only I should type a little bit correct, like so. Next, 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 install, and then we wait for this partition to, well, to be created first. So we can have a look probably right about now with Gparted, what happened to my machine? So he made a completely encrypted system, a big encrypted system called encrypted X4 with a nice icon on it. So you know that this thing is encrypted. So without my password, I cannot open it. I cannot run it. It's, it's even, it won't load, load sorry, uh, the, the grub. So it's just a black screen. Give me a password. That's it. But let's wait for the installation to reboot. While we're waiting, I just Googled something, which is might interest you. So Arch Linux and encryption. And I have a nice page here. This article discusses disk encryption software. So it's a, a world well, wiki of Arch Linux. It's always our get to, um, to figure out things and to learn about desktop environments. And you can always check out if there is something in here that is okay. That's what it, it does. That's what I need. That's what I am missing maybe. So a lot of information is on here, which is also a lot of technical information, of course, but you just need what you want to know, right? You just control F and, and search what you're looking for. So do what you want to encrypt, user data, etc., etc. How should swap, etc. be taken care. Now we'll see later on what Calamaris is, is, is doing and how that's working for you. If that's something you'd like, then you can always add it up and I install it and, and use it. I've done it in the past, but I mean, it feels slower, my computer, which is of course understandable since it's encrypted with a password and it needs to be decrypted, right? Like, like, uh, zipping and unzipping, you know, raring and unraring, you know, right? It's uh, decryption needs, takes time and takes power away from your computer. So a lot of information, but this is the reason why people do it located in the place to which non-trusted people might gain access while you're away, lost or stolen as with laptops, netbooks, etc. in the repair shop, discarded after its end of life. So a lot of, um, you can also do an Arch Linux and then encrypt, and that's what I did. And there are lots of articles how to install Arch Linux with full disk encryption. I've taken a look at um, this thing, an article here, how to install Arch Linux with full disk encryption. Of course, there's YouTube. Don't forget, lots of information is on there. Set up Linux Lux encryption on Arch Linux. 
and so on and so on and so on so a lot of information is available on the net we're still waiting for the installation so let's uh, keep looking and reading Arch Linux encrypted install UFI of course if you have a UFI setting or MBR it's a great word to put it behind it so you know that um, it's gonna be different A new commerce guide to install Arch Linux for full disk encryption. Okay, almost done. So you just read and read and listen and listen. And if that's something you'd like to do, then that's great. All right, we'll finish up. So let's restart the system. This is version June. If you're watching this and you don't have it, that's normal. That's at this point in time not available just for beta testers but um, it will soon be there. Let's boot it up again and see what happens. So you get this strange message, grub loading, welcome to grub, and then everything holds. Attempting to decrypt master key, enter passphrase. So if you forget the password, <laughs> well, I guess you're in trouble. But if you just type in the password and press enter, make sure that QWERTY, AZERTY, capital letters and small letters, everything is okay. Then you have to wait, as you see, it takes a while for everything to kick in and to boot. And honestly, I don't have the patience to wait for all that. But if that's your thing, if, if you want to have this added layer of security, which, which of course it is, it is an added layer, then um, it's quite possible to do it starting from 1906 so the june edition of arch linux all right so and then it's business as usual you do an update and there's of course a lot of up to update that's arch people are always astonished how big the updates are at arch linux once you are a few years or months maybe already you'll see that that's all good and normal and basically we're only going to update or upgrade seven megabytes which is nothing but it is it takes a lot of download space and, and bandwidth and that's what i meant um but yeah we're, we're used to it and it's all normal um so depending on where you live how many bandwidth we have etc well that of course this will decide what kind of linux distribution you will take Anyway, you see this is, this is working. This is what it will look like. You, you boot up, you get a password and it does feel a little bit slower to me when things are, are opened, even in VirtualBox, which is always a little bit slower. Um, I get the feeling that uh, we have to wait a little bit for every thing we do, but hey, if um, that's important to you, so we can provide it now starting of 1906 all right cheers